Welcome to Open eCry's Trader Training. My name is Toby Gennaro, and what I'll be talking about today are how to set up quotes and links, and then how to utilize the features of the Quote Manager. Now, as you can see here, I have my quote table, and then I just have uh, three charts set up, and these are all configured just based on the Trade with Precision uh, configuration layout or the configuration uh, workspace. So what I've done is I've just set up a quote table with all of the markets that I would like to track. And I've just then added in all the symbols of the various contracts that I would like to trade. So just to give you an idea of how to set this up for yourself, we'll go in and we'll actually start a new uh, quote chart and then show you exactly how to do that. So what you want to do is first come up to the View menu and just click on View. And go down to Quotes and click on New. And it'll just give you uh, actually just a new tab down here to start a brand new table. Now, if initially when you start a new table, if you don't get this uh, toolbar right here just go up to the the bar where it says uh, quotes and then just right click and come down on configure and then just click on restore default and that should get the toolbar back up there toolbar is uh, pretty important for everything that we want to do in the quotes table so the very first thing that we want to do is we want to basically just add some uh, some ticker symbols right so we can come up here and we can say add market just by clicking that plus signal we can key in uh, whatever contract symbol we want or we can search for a contract symbol once we get a contract symbol up here that we want uh, we can look over in this panel and identify all the different parameters that make up that contract it'll tell us the maintenance margin it'll tell us whether it's electronically traded or pit traded it'll give us the expiration date and time uh, it'll give us pretty much everything that we need to know and understand if we're interested in trading this contract if that's good for us, then all we do is just click OK, and it puts it in to the Quote Manager table for us. Now, once you have your Quote Manager table set up, you can then begin to organize and group all of your uh, trading symbols. So one thing you can do is just go up here and click to add a blank row. So you can add a couple of those, and you can separate out and group perhaps you know all of your energies, all of your U.S. indices, all of your agricultural products. So it gives you a way just to visually to organize the things that you want to do. Now another thing you can do uh, once you get your contract and your trade symbols in here is you can highlight them and then you can do a couple of things. One, if you want to remove them, uh, you can remove that row. If you want to um, roll these backwards or forwards, this is a really nice feature, especially on the roll forward, since you don't have to go back and search for the contract again. All you do is click on this button. Once the contract is highlighted, automatically rolls it forward to the very next contract. Uh, if you want to do something different, like move it up or down within the uh, range of the different contracts and lists that you have, you can move it up or down based on some of these other uh, toolbar buttons. If you want some more buttons here, you can just click on this little drop down button. It'll give you a number of other options in terms of other things that you can do. One other thing that you might want to do is to set up and arrange the columns in terms of what you'd like to see. Uh, it's pretty standard here. I mean, you have the symbol, the description, depending on how you want to order these, uh, the last uh, price of the contract. You can just click on this drop down button right here and come over here where it says column setup. Click on that. It'll give you another box here that will give you a whole listing of how you can move and arrange all of these different columns in the order that you'd like to see them. So you can drag and drop, add and move, move up or down, and organize these columns in terms of how you want to, to see them. Typically, if you're looking at a number of different time frames, this box is going to be pretty thin. So for me, I only have maybe uh, you know three or four uh, column headings here, and that's pretty much all I want to see. So I want to see the contract symbol, the description, and perhaps the asking price. And the very last thing that you'll want to do is to make sure that your quote manager table is then linked to all of your charts. So let's go back to the one that I already have set up. It'll be a little easier to see. And as you can see, when I click from the E-mini S&P, which we're currently on now, you can see right here it says ESZ2 is the, is the trade symbol. And if I click on the mini Dow, you'll see everything change to the YMZ2 contract. Now, if I go up here and I click this link to quotes, it's just a toggle button. If I click that, what I've just done is I've unlinked this particular chart. So if I go back to the E-minis, you'll see that everything else changes to the ES contract, and this one stays on the YM. Okay, so if I click it back, it's toggled back on. I can go to the Russell, and all of a sudden, everything changes across all the charts. Okay, so really nice feature there, having all of your charts linked to your quote tape. 
So everything in OEC Trader is uh, fairly simplistic and structured pretty well in terms of the user interface. Uh, remember that if you download the Trade with Precision um, layout, then you will already have all of this done for you. So it's really just a matter of going in, maybe rolling the contracts forward, putting in some new contracts and markets that you wish to trade. But everything else in terms of the setup will already be done for you. And then you can just work on maybe some of the modification features that are going to be make it a little bit more personal to you. So if you're interested in uh, other educational material that we do have, go ahead and check out the Open eCry website under Education and look for other trading videos and webinars, or you can call customer service for more information and educational events. Thanks for watching Open eCry's Trading Education.